welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, it's Teacher Michael with Kids Academy. And today, I'd like to talk to you about counting faces. No, not those kinds of faces. Do you remember the faces we talked about who were talking about shapes? The kind of faces that are really just the flat part of the shape. These faces can be in 3D shapes or in 2D shapes. But today, we're gonna focus on counting faces in 3D shapes. Now, this can be a little bit tricky because counting these faces, sometimes you have to use your imagination. Sometimes you have to pretend like you're looking on top or from the bottom or from either side. So today I'm gonna to show you a great strategy for counting the faces and keeping track of your counting. Let's take a look at an example using a cube. So to count the shapes or to count the faces in our cube, you really have to use your imagination. So I know that a cube, since it's 3D or three dimensional, we could pick it up on our hand and it would really be all around like a 360 view. So I know that we are gonna have one face on the very top. And I know that if we have one face on the top, we're also going to have one face on the bottom. So that's two faces right there. I know that I'm also going to have a front face and a back face. So that's this face and our back face. The back face is the one that you really have to imagine along with the other side. Because I see one face right here and another one in the back. So that's how you identify the faces. Now what about counting them? So let's go ahead and count them up. We started the way we counted them in the beginning. We have one up top and another one on the bottom, that's two. We have one in the front and one in the back, that's three and four. And then we have one on the side, five, and another one on the side, that's six. So our cube has six faces. Now, let's use the, our imagination strategy for counting the faces for our other shapes. Let's read the directions and get started right away. Let's count faces. Count the faces of the 3D shapes with the wizard. Circle the correct number of faces for each 3D shape. Okay, let's take a look at our first 3D shape, the rectangular prism. So just like our cube, let's count the faces starting with the top and the bottom. So in our rectangular prism, I know we have a top face and a bottom face. That's one, two. So let's go ahead and mark those faces, one and two. I know that I have two faces on either side either, so that's three and four. So let's go ahead and mark those three and four. I also know that I have two faces on the front side and the back side. So that's five and six. So our rectangular prism really has six faces just like our cube. Let's use this strategy to count our neck shape as well. In our neck shape, I see a cylinder. Now for our cylinder, I know that there's a big space in the middle that's not a face. But I do see two circular faces on the top and the bottom. And those are really our only two faces in this shape. Because if you looked up or beneath, those are the two flat surfaces that you would see in our cylinder. So let's go ahead and circle two, because I know that there are two faces in our cylinder. Now if we look at our cone, our third shape, we can see, again, that there is really only one flat surface in this shape. It is the bottom face, that circular face that you could see. If you looked at the bottom, or looked up from the bottom, you'd see that flat circular face. And I know that's the only flat space on this shape, so there is only one face. For our next shape, we have a pyramid. Now for our pyramid, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of imagining, just like we did for our rectangular prism and our cube. So for our pyramid, let's go ahead and count some of those faces we see. I see the front face, that's one. I see the side face, that's two. I know if there's a front face, there's gonna be a back face, that's three. And there's another side face, that's four. Well, that's great, but what about the bottom? There needs to be 360 or three dimensional view of this shape. So we have a bottom face, and if you notice, that bottom face is actually in the shape of a square. So we have five faces on this shape. Four of them are triangles, and one of them is a square, giving us a total of five faces. Finally, our last shape, a triangular prism. This shape is actually really fun to count faces. You can see in our triangular prism, we have a triangular front face, 
we have a rectangular shaped side face, which means we're gonna have another rectangular shaped side face. If we have our front triangular face, we're gonna have a back triangular face giving us four sides. And finally, we have our bottom face or our fifth face. So really, in our triangular prism, there are five faces. Boys and girls, remember that when you wanna count faces of a 3D shape, you have to use your imagination because when there's one side, if you see those dotted lines, they're usually trying to represent the opposite side or the other face. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.